Hi everyone, I'm Dan, and these videos are for people new to testing, and I will demonstrate how to complete each test and how to complete your schedule of test results. Now this video is how to complete an end-to-end -end test. We only do end-to-end -end tests on our ring circuits, we don't do them on the radio. Now before you start each test, ensure you've got your on-site guide with you. For this test, have your, have your on-site guide open to page 115 we are going to complete columns 18, 19 and 20 on your schedule of test results. So, on to the test. We need to set our machine to the ohm setting and all of our tests are completed at the DB and we will need to be removing both of the lives, both of the neutrals and both of the earths for our ring, for our ring circuit. So, let's get removing those cables. So we're going to test the ground floor socket circuit. So if we locate the correct MCB, it's labelled up here, ground floor sockets, and we need to remove both of the live cables from the top of the MCB. So we'll take them both out. And now we need to remove both of the neutrals that correspond to that circuit. So this is circuit 11, so now point number 11. So we take those two out and we go to earthing point number 11 and we take the two earths out. So we are now ready to do our tests. Right, our first test on the schedule of test results is column 18 which is labelled R1. R1 is our live cable. So we just crocodile clip onto each cable and we wait for our machine to give us a reading it's bouncing about that's about quite a bit oh there we go 0 0.3 0 0.3 and that is our R1 now we do our RN which is the neutral cable and again we just put the crocodile clips on And we wait for it to give us a reading. Uh, 0.36. And now we're on to our R2, which is our earth cable. Now this should be slightly higher. And it's bouncing around. Oh, it's come out a bit lower. It is 0.26. And there we go. Now that is the end-to-end -end complete. Our next test is the R1 plus R2, where we will need all of these cables out. So we'll leave it board like that, and that is now ready for our next test, which is the R1 plus R2. But for the minute, we'll go to our schedule of test results, and we'll, com uh, we'll complete the uh, test form. To complete the schedule of test results for our ground floor sockets, we find them on our schedule of test results. Now we label that as circuit number 11, which is here, circuit number 11. If we turn our sheet over, circuit number 11, we are going to be doing columns 18, 19, and 20. So, it tells us up the top there, a ring final circuit. We'll only be doing these on a ring and not a radial. Column 18, my R1, my value was 0 0.3. My RN, column 19, my value was 0 0.36. And column 20, my R2, my earth cable, was 0 0.26. And that is the shed with test results complete. So if we look at the on-site guide, page 115, we've got our continuity of ring final circuit conductors. And step one details how you complete the end-to-end -end test. And the pictures here, A, B, and C, shows a measurement of R1, Rn, and R2. And it shows you here your 
live on this crocodile clip and you're live on your second crocodile clip and the same for the neutral, the same with the earth. Thank you for watching the video. Remember we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level 2 and level 3 in electrical installation. Now if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.